the Gambia sits in approximately 11,000 square kilometers of land and about 1,300 square kilometers of it is covered in water. The country's economy is highly dependent on farming and along the coastline of the river Gambia, many women have grown rice for years, but they have become frustrated by an emerging pattern. Rising sea levels in the ocean has led to more salty waters flowing into the river Gambia and its effect on the quality of rice grown here. Because of the salt, the rice hasn't grown. We can't grow anything to eat here. All this is now a waste. Jane Obasanko has been a rice farmer all her life. It is the only job she knows. Farming here, it's passed down from one generation to another. But climate change has completely changed that. Before the salt intrusion, we used to harvest around 21 bags, which was enough to feed our families and have plenty to sell. But now it's very little. So I have to try other options like growing vegetables. I have to add organic manure to reduce the salt intrusion. Even with that, at times it's a total loss. All we need is a solution. The vast land where I stand represents washed up drains for rice farmers here in Karawan. So they are forced to move uplands due to the effects of climate crisis. Rice is a stable food here in the Gambia. Jainaba and some of her neighbors call this kitchen garden. It is a small piece of land that they must share to ensure that all families in their communities don't go to sleep hungry. I think that the solution to salt water intrusion will be actually to work with nature in terms of creating these solutions. All our solutions must be nature-based. You know, mangroves can actually, you know, uh, uh, survive in salt water. So planting mangroves will help in the desalinization processes. And of course, some of the places that are not already infected, we need to actually find ways of creating dike, some sort of, you know, uh, engineering process that can help these locals to thrive. They don't have the tools to check the salinity levels. So they look at the types of weeds that are growing and test the soil to try and work it out. But the situation is getting worse by the day and the local farming communities are being forced to look for new ways for earning a living. Maimuna Ba, Africa Matters, Karawan, Gambia.